In this repair video, we're going to be working on a Seagate external hard drive. This is the five terabyte drive. Customer brought this in because it would not power on and he's not able to read any files from that drive. Now, I already removed the drive from the enclosure and I tried to plug that drive directly to our hard drive reader here. But as soon as I plug the drive in, the reader would just turn off. Let me show you what I mean. Now, I already removed the motherboard of the drive and I want to show you what happens when we plug that board directly to this hard drive reader. Now, if you notice, this is already on. As soon as we plug the hard drive board, look at what happens. It went off. So that's a very clear indication that we have a problem with the motherboard. And the good thing is the customer brought us a donor board in case we need to extract any parts so we can fix his hard drive. So let's work on this board together and see what's going on. Right now, I want to look for possibly blown components, any damaged component. A short is likely caused by a bad diode or a bad capacitor. Just quick physical inspection on the board. And the board looks mint, excellent condition. Nothing obvious. Let's do some measurements, meter in continuity mode. And I want to test some of the zero ohm resistors here. I want to make sure those are good. I mean, resistors are not going to cause a short. But still, I want to test and see if they are good. And all of them are good. Meter in diode mode. Diode is good. Uh, we have a problem. Let me test this one here, and we should not read a short, but we are. So it's very possible that our short is caused by one of the capacitors. We do not have a short on those capacitors. We do not have a short here. And we have a short here. Look at this. We have a short here. It's possible that one of those two capacitors are shortened to ground. Or it could be this component here. Let's start by desoldering cap number one and see what happens. Let's check and see if we still have a short. Meter in diode mode. And we still have a short. Let's go ahead and desolder cap number two. And let's check now. And we still have a short. Now what I want to do is desolder this component here, right there. Let's hold it down in place like this so we do not lose it. And now we can check to see if we still have a short. If we do not, then that's our problem. That's our problem. Look at this. Short is gone. The short is gone. That's it. We fixed the drive. Let's put that cap back.
and let's put that cap back and we're gonna remove this component and take it off the donor board let's put it here in the same orientation just in case we forgot let me just apply a tiny bit of solder And let's take that component of the donor. and the job is done let's test to see if we still have a short and we do not we no longer have a short there's a 99.99% .99 chance that this board is fixed And maybe I can just go over those caps quick so we can save the world from complaints. So let's go ahead and test now. Let's see if this board is going to shut off our device here. And no, it did not. All right, so I'm gonna have to reassemble the board onto the drive. And we'll test together. I'm gonna give it to Big Boss because the screws are inside on his bench. I'll be back. We reassembled the drive right here. And let me just connect the USB cable to the computer. Is the cable long enough? Yes. All right. So right now I cannot move because of this cable, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to plug it in and it did not turn off. I can hear the drive spin and that's a very good sign. But I did not hear the tone on the computer. Let's just wait a few seconds and see what happens. The drive is spinning. Oh, right there, right there, the tone. Anything? Yes. Yes. <laughs> drive is working. The drive is working. 
I'm able to see all the files. Customer is going to be happy. And the job is done. So we did it. We're going to call the customer to come and pick up. Customer is local. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.